Jermaine Blackwood slammed a brilliant 95 in the second innings as West Indies claimed an emphatic four-wicket win over hosts England on the final day of the first test at Rose Bowl in Southampton. Chasing a target of 200, West Indies were off to a disastrous start as they lost their three wickets for 31 and opener John Campbell retired hurt. But seasoned campaigner Roston Chase, along with Blackwood, stemmed the fall of wickets and forged a partnership of 73 for the fifth wicket. Chase was dismissed for 37 by Jofra Archer when the tourists were at the halfway mark in the run chase. But Blackwood remained firm as he completed his 50 and stitched a 68 run stand with Shane Dorich. Blackwood was given another chance to show he can cut in the longest format after being dropped last year and he grabbed it with both hands on a tense final day behind closed doors. The tall right-handed batsman seemed poised for his second turn in the longest format but fell five shy of it, with his team still needing 11 runs to win. But Captain Holder and Campbell ensured they reach home without further trouble. Pacer Shannon Gabriel was awarded the player of the match for picking up nine wickets in the game. The right-handed speedster picked up his sixth five-wicket haul in test as he dismissed five English batsmen in the second innings and helped his team restrict the hosts to 313 in the second innings. With this win, the Windies will head to Manchester with more confidence. England, on the other hand, will have a lot of brainstorming to do following this defeat. Coach Chris Silverwood's team had a catching up to do all through the match. Except for the first two sessions on day 4 and the first session on day 5, the hosts were mainly dominated by the tourists. They will have to go back to the drawing board ahead of the second test now. Stand-in captain Ben Stokes, Tom Sibley, Zach Crawley and pacer Jofra Archer were the only positives from this game for the three Lions. They will have to make some changes to their playing 11 for the second test which starts July 16th at Old Trafford.